The fair began in the reign of Henry I when the Bishop of Hereford was allowed to uh, have a fair in the city and it's gone on ever since then and in the 1830s the city council took over the running of the fair and in compensation each year they pay the church authorities, usually the bishop, they pay, they pay him 12 and a half bushels of corn for the, the right to carry on holding the fair. As Chancellor of the Cathedral, I'm receiving those bushels and checking that they're good and proper. Mr. Mayor, before accepting payment, I require you to prove to me that proper quantity and good measure is being offered. We keep chickens, so I know good corn from bad, and I shall sift it in my fingers and smell it and taste it. If it really was bad corn, no fair, I'm afraid, so we're hoping for good corn. <laughs> We've come from all over the country here at Hereford, all over the United Kingdom. Uh, they started on their way sort of uh, Sunday, uh, most of them arriving in the town on Sunday dinner time, lunch time sort of thing. And yesterday at six o'clock, they came onto the streets of Hereford and started setting the rides up. Something that's gone on, as I said, for 900 years, and it's a chartered fair. It was granted by the kings and queens of this country when it was the only way anybody could celebrate anything, I, I would think so. And uh, yeah, it's going, and it goes from father to son in, in our way of life. Um, my father came, his father. My son's here, my grandsons and granddaughters are here today. And it'll go on, and long may it continue. Because without the heritage that we've got in this country, we haven't got anything. We've got to have it. It's something to look forward to. When it originated this fair, I think that was the way they paid for it. Because uh, that was probably the time to, to have the wheat. And they were happy enough to have this wheat to pay for these streets for this fair. And I do, un I do believe it was nine days when it actually started, not three. Because of the amount of business that was done here, it took nine days to hire people and fire them. I mean, I have heard that people was, you could buy somebody's wife for two and a half uh, shillings or something. So there's a lot of things going on. So today, obviously, it, that is just a token of what it was. We obviously pay a lot more money for the privilege of being in the streets uh, for these three days. It's been a great bit of fun to be involved with this this year. Fair payment all round, definitely.